Liam Milwaukee 5 Ampere 18 volt battery. I know about the demo and it's light in the drill but it's not but, uh, <coughs> not doing anything. on the charge see if she does anything and be easy if she charges if she charges will be easy no she's not charging she's thank you very much JD Hogg good to see you on the stream appreciate the compliment it's a relief from a resident troll who's who's gone he's gone the way of the unicorn he's gone but this is Milwaukee Christmas you call this when you're green and red and there's nothing no, no charge, no charge, right? So, so what do we do if we have a battery like that? Is the question that I'd be asked. I forgot to add these batteries, but I'm going to give it a lash here. Um, let me see. So we test the voltage. You get a voltmeter. And you won't see that because the screen's backwards, but that says 20 volts. That's a full voltage for a battery to be. If it's anything below 16, 15, 16, that means there's some reason why the battery's low and there can be cell. There could be a couple of cells. There's 10 cells in this. There could be two of them sort of things fried. The whole bank of cells could be low and then you can bring the voltage up. Sometimes you can save them that way, you know. But this one's different. Because this one's sitting at full voltage. And it still won't go. And I know what's wrong with that. That is the circuit board. That is the circuit board. I would, I would bet this. But it might be something else. I could be wrong. But sure, we will, we will see. We will open her. I'm going to run short of circuit board shortly. Have to order more. So, what does everybody tell you to do whenever you have a battery that won't charge? Oh, jump started, jump started off an hour battery. I've done a lot of that, that works. But it won't work in this case. Because this battery has not got any low voltage. You're not doing anything. You're not doing, you're not achieving anything by doing a jump start in this. The cells all look tremendous. I can check the cells for balance. We can check the cells for balance. And balance is very important in batteries as it is in life. So here we go. If we go with the bank of cells, each bank of cells, that's 409. That's 4.109. Eh? 4.11, that's close enough. 4.10, 4.11, 4.10. So it's a very well balanced pack as well. So the only conceivable reason why that battery is not going is that this circuit board is not allowing it to charge and it's not allowing it to carry the tool. 